Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Root Beer here, looking at question number six on the 2009 Grade 12 Manitoba Math Contest. Question six means we are over the halfway point. What does question six have to offer for us? Find the sum of the digits of the number 10 to the 100. I think that's a Google, isn't it? So 10 to the 100 minus 10 to the 8 minus 3. Okay, big numbers, big scary exponents. Even the 8 is kind of uncomfortable for us because we don't have our calculators on this contest. So I might start by taking a look at a smaller situation. How about, how about 10 to the 5 minus 10 to the 3 minus 3? Okay, just a simple example to maybe understand it. Because I imagine just from looking at it, it's going to be sort of a, something like this minus, uh, oops, get another zero in there, minus this, and then minus a three. Well, just subtracting off a 10 to the something, we should get a bunch of nines, and then a bunch of zeros here, and then subtracting off a three, we'll borrow one from the nine to make it an eight, and then this will be nine, nine, seven. Okay. So that's the idea, that's the, the general idea. So it, it's in general, it's gonna look like a bunch of nines, an eight, and then a bunch more nines and a seven, okay? And if we wanted to, we could do another example of this, you know, 10 to the six minus 100 minus three, just to verify, okay? Now in this case, how many nines did we get at the start? We had one nine. And what numbers were we using? We were using five and three. Okay, so the difference between those is two. We had two nines for the 99, but one of them became an eight. So we should have 100 minus eight minus one nines here. Just looking at patterns. Then we should have one eight. Then how many nines should we have? Well, we were doing 10 to the three minus three, and we ended up with two nines here. So I would suspect eight minus one nines here and then seven, okay? Now, does this make sense to us? In turn, so we should get a five digit number. In total, we should get a 100 digit number. So 100 minus nine plus one is 100 minus eight, plus eight minus one is 100 minus one, plus one, hmm, suspicious. No, 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 that, that would, plus one would be 100 digits. 10 to the 100 is a 101 digit number. So I think in general, 10 to the n minus 10 to the m minus 3 is uh, n minus m minus 1 nines, then an 8, then m minus 1 nines, and then a 7. Yeah. So uh, if I wanted to, I could verify this pattern by, again, doing something like uh, 10 to the 6 minus 10 to the 2 and then minus 3. Now, what do I think the answer should be? Six minus two is four minus one, so I should expect three nines. Eight, uh, two minus one is uh, one, so one nine there, and then a seven. This is my prediction. If my theory is right, if my pattern recognition is right, this should be the answer. And so if I get the same answer, I'm gonna say, yep, I understand how these numbers are put together, so I can jump to my final answer, okay? If this doesn't work out, then you know maybe I've misrecognized a pattern. And you might say, well, you've only done two things. Two data points is hardly a pattern. Sure. Uh, it's only question six. So uh, I, you know, I'm sort of saying to myself, this is going to be not so, so hard. But uh, certainly you could say, well, let's get two or three more of these in here just to double check the pattern. Uh, so if we subtract three, uh, we'll get, um, so we borrow one, eight there, and this becomes 100. So 97, 8, 9, 9, 9. We got the same thing. Okay. So my pattern recognition, my theory tells me it will be 100 minus 8 minus 1, 9s. All right. 100, 8, and then the 3. A single 8. Then 8 minus 1, or 7, 9s. And then a 7. Now we want the sum of the digits. Well, that's going to be 9. How many 9s? 100 minus 8 minus 1. Plus 8. Plus more 9s. 
specifically seven of them, plus a seven. Okay, well, this is 100 minus 9, this is 91, so 9 times 91 plus 8 plus 9 times 7 plus 7. So these two really quickly become 15, and this is 9 times 98 plus 15. Um, hmm, actually, it looks like the 8, the, the eight doesn't matter. It looks like uh, 10 to the n minus uh, 10 to the m minus 3 will always uh, have some of digits 15 plus and so it's just the 8 and the 7 and all the other digits are 9's so 9 times n minus 2 that's a nifty little extension of the problem I mean it's irrelevant for us doing our calculations but with something so like with a question like this the 100 and the 8 are just arbitrarily chosen really so it's nice to understand the generalization uh, so in terms of adding this up, this is uh, 900 minus 18 plus 15, right? 98 is 100 minus 2, so I did 9 times 100 minus 9 times 2. But now these guys cancel out, and we get 900 minus 3, or 897. So that's going to be our final answer. 897 is the sum of the digits, and we did it all just with pattern recognition, really. And I like that. I like that there's a nice, pure, mathematical, just plain old pattern recognition. Okay? Aside from the calculation part, a, a grade schooler, like a very young kid, could do this question. You know, count the number of nines, eight. Count the number of nines, seven. I like it. Pure pattern recognition. Okay? So let's keep this energy going into question number seven. I will see you guys for that in the next video.